Hello, today I'll be showing you how to extract data from a PDF using Python. First thing I'll do is I'll be showing you how to set up the code and then I'll be showing you the code and then finally we'll be running the code so you can see how this information will look once the information is extracted. The idea of this tutorial is to make you able to run a PDF and have its data fully extracted and ready for your own personal project or whatever information you want to extract from it from within the Python environment. Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is set up this code. So what I've done is I have um, installed the PyPDF2 module, which is something you will have to do as well by using the pip install command and then so that it is loaded and running within your Python shell. Then you're going to have to go and download a PDF or use the PDF or whatever PDF you want to have your data extracted from. So I've chosen a very small and simple one. I've just typed into Google uh, sample PDF and I found this. This is a very easy and I believe perfect um, demonstration file so you can see exactly what's happening. Just two pages and very repetitive, so it says. This is a small demonstration.pdf file used in the virtual mechanics tutorials, more text, more text, and more text, boring, and more text, and more text. Continued on page two, even more text. So very simple, and it should be very easy to follow. The next thing I did was to write the code. So if we go back to our Python shell, I'm using Anaconda. But you can, this should work on um, most other shells as well, just as long as you've got the PyPDF2 module installed. First thing you do is install PyPDF2, and I've called it P2. And then the next thing you gotta do is you need to open, you need to load your PDF file into the shell as a PDF. And you do that by using the open command and use the name of your PDF. So my PDF is called um, small PDF. As you can see here on the top, it's called small PDF. And remember to include the extension name. And then you have to include RB in your after the comma so that you can uh, read it and be able to um, uh, extract data from it, shall we say. The next, and then I've assigned that as, as the variable PDF file. So PDF file equals open and then the name of the PDF with the extension number and then having it able to be, have its data read and extracted. And then the next line is to run, run this past your PyPDF2 module by using the PDF file reader command. So you type in P2, which in this case refers to that PyPDF module dot PDF file reader. And then in the brackets, you type in PDF file. Notice that you can do other things as well. So I'm just gonna be showing you PDF file reader, but you can also file write and file merge and use filters and yeah, it's a great, um, great to, uh, module to just have a play around, but I'm just going to show you the basics of it. P, P2, oh, let me just remind to put the PDF file reader, dot PDF file reader, and then in brackets, PDF file. The first thing I'll be doing is showing you how to get a single page of PDF. And we do that by using the get page function. So we use our variable created with the PI PDF2 module and we type that and we write that dot get page and then we get the page number we want so let's get the first page and the first page is always zero just to uh, make you aware of that just like when you're doing ranges in python so the first page is always zero and we put that to a variable x and then the next thing we need to do is we need to print the information to our output and we do that by using the print command and then within the brackets of the print command, we type in x dot extract text, and that will extract the text from the PDF in, into a more um, usable format. 
and we, if we run that code, we can see on our output that that's exactly what we get. So we start with a simple PDF file and we end with continued on page two. And if we look at our PDF that we downloaded from the internet, you can say, you see that it starts with a simple PDF file and it ends with continued on page two. And that is what is on page one. Notice that the title is included in the text. So all layout is taken away when we use the PyPDF2 module, just to be aware. So this is completely free of any sort of layout or text styling and so on and so forth. So that is how you get the this, uh, first page. If you wanted to get the second page, you could just modify the page number and so on and so forth to get whatever page you want. So if you run that, we get the second page. And the end just as well is continued from page one. And if we go here, we can see that that is proof that it is the second page, ending with just as well, starting with continued from page one. Um, so that is how you get a single page. The next thing I'll be doing is showing you how to get other bits of information about the file. So what if you wanted to find out whether the file is encrypted or who created the file or when the file was created or how many pages does the file have in total? And you can do that very quickly by using a few commands which have been built into the PyPDF module. So let's start with checking whether it's encrypted or not. And you type in, you do that by typing in PDF read dot get is encrypted. And if you run that, you'll get a Boolean response, true or false. And in this case, it's false. There are ways in which you can decrypt the file within the PyPDF module. Uh, and um, that is something which I won't be covering in this tutorial. But just to let you know, that is something that this module can do. The next thing we can do is we need to get we want to get more information about this document. We want to find out who created it and when it was created, and we do that by typing in get document info. And so if we run that, we can see from the output on the right, we can see it was created by someone or some company called Rave. And we've even got a website here we can go on and then we can see who produced it and it's a company called Nevrona Designs and then we also have a timestamp of when this file was created and all the numbers are together starting with the date and ending with the time and then finally if you wanted to get the number of pages we simply run pdf read dot get num pages and we get that and we see it has two and that confirms um, what we what I showed you earlier, where well, it just has two pages. So that's the second page and that's the first page. And that's all this document has. So that's proof. Uh, let me show you what other things it can possibly do. If I type in PDF read dot, here we go. Here you can see there's tons of information you can get. You get outlines, page layout, page mode, page number, XMP metadata, and so on and so forth. So definitely worth having a quick play to see um, how familiar you can get yourself with it and what this module can do for you. The next thing I do is we're showing you how to create a simple loop that will help you to extract all the pages at once into your output. And we do that by type by creating a simple while loop. And I've done that here. I've said I put i as a variable equal to zero. So that's going to be our first page equal to zero. And then I've got, I've created a while loop. So while i is less than pdf read dot get num pages. So that is while i, the page number is less than the final page in the document or the total number of pages in the document. That is the same in this case. Uh, then we print the we get the page info and we print the extract and we update the variable i to be i plus one. And we do that until i is less than, until i is equal to the number of pages in the document. So this while function only loops while i is less than the number of pages in the document. And then when it does reach the end, it just stops, the loop just stops. And then similar to 
the get page function at the top I showed you earlier, but instead of one, we use the variable i. If we run that, so let me just clear this console, get it clean, and then let's run it. We can see we have a simple PDF file, the title, start, and then the end, and just as well, ending with that. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. That's all I have to show you in this case. Um, check out my other uh, tutorials on my channel and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you.